The Hometown Heroes program that gave out $100 million to first-time homebuyers was a great program, but it's just a shell of what it is now because they made it so much easier for so many more people to access. If you're looking to buy a home here in Florida, you need to check this out because it could provide thousands of dollars towards a home purchase, and it's really pretty easy to get. This program was first launched in June 2022, and it's since helped over 6,700 families purchase homes. The basic qualifications are pretty simple. However, there were some serious limitations that hindered many people from being able to even access this program. I'm Chuck Shaver of the Shaver Group, and I'm a realtor with Keller Williams Heritage Realty here in Central Florida. And today, I'm going to be discussing some of the massive changes that have just been made to this program. Make sure you stick around for the last change, because it's the one that impacts most regular folks, just like you and like me, to help save $35,000 towards the purchase of a home. So, what's changed? Well, as of July 1st, 2023, the Hometown Heroes program has received an additional $100 million to continue helping families to buy homes. The maximum down payment assistance amount has increased to $35,000, or up to 5% of the loan amount, and you may also get a better interest rate. There also used to be a set income limit, but now that limit is assessed by the county's median income. You must earn less than 150% of the county's median income, which increases the buying power for a whole lot of people. That's around 130 grand for many of us here in Central Florida, and I know a lot of people making less than that. Yes, you must technically still be a first-time home buyer, which means that you haven't been a homeowner in the last three years, and you must have a minimum credit score of 640. But if you pay your bills and keep a regular job, there's a good chance that you'll qualify. Now, before you go getting all crazy and thinking that this is some sort of free cash machine, it should be noted that this is not a forgivable loan. It comes as a second, non-interest-bearing loan that is free to you as long as you own the home and as your primary residence. So you do have to pay it back if you no longer live in the home, but most people never completely pay off their mortgages anyways. This program helps buyers by providing funds to help them get into their home that they never have to pay interest on, and that's a big deal. Before we get to the big change that impacts so many people, if you're looking for more information like this, hit the subscribe and the like buttons. But more importantly, hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post other videos just like this. Before the updates, this is a great program. It was good for a lot of people working in first responder careers, but it left out so many people. This program used to be limited to specific occupations like teachers, those in the medical field, law enforcement, and military. Though this did help a ton of families, it left out everyone else, like those in customer service, retail, hospitality, tech, marketing, and so many more people. As a result, yes, the major changes to this program are good changes as they help so many more people. The only job requirement now is that you must be working at a Florida-based company and purchasing a home in the community in which you work. This emphasizes the program's focus on supporting individuals who are committed to their communities. If you're interested in learning more about this program, make sure to check out my original Hometown Heroes video that goes into a little bit more detail on how the program works. Of course, you can always leave any questions below or just give me a call or text directly. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.